Welcome to Monaco. Hello friends and welcome to my channel. If you haven't already subscribed, let's take a moment, let's do it. Let's subscribe to my channel and also give this video a like at the very start of this video. Give it some love right away. I'm gonna talk serious with my hat down. We are on our way to Monaco today, which is the second smallest country in the world, but we are headed there. And some quick facts about Monaco. Apparently there's a billionaire for about every 12,000 residents. It is the richest country in the world and it is small. It is smaller than Central Park in New York City, which is just bonkers. The prince decided that it wanted to make a country of its own where the wealthy could join. We wore my nicest outfit. Let's just say that folks. We did put on a necklace, some jewelry, and I wore my fancy hat just to attempt to fit into the ultra rich and wealthy. We are currently sitting in Ez Village, and if you didn't watch my last video, I'm gonna link it up here. We're waiting for the train right now from the Ez station, that's all it's called, and we're headed to Monaco. It's $2.10, 210 euro to make it there, and that's not my train. <laughs> Thought it was coming. Either way, I'm excited to go explore a country within a day, and then tonight we'll head back to Nice. We have arrived in Monaco, which doesn't feel like I'm in a different city. It feels like I'm back in a French city of sorts. We're just walking down the street to see what Shakespeare means. It's just a building. <laughs> Already you can kind of see the wealth, the cars, the bags, just the way people are dressed. Things on my list to do is to head to the tourism office and get a stamp in my passport. No passport stamp. They don't do it anymore. They'll give you this fake one, which does have a pretty cool stamp of today that I'm here, but they won't put it in your actual passport because it's invalid or it was invalid and caused complications for people to come home, whatever it may be. I'm entering some kind of park. So far it just feels like a very condensed niece is what I'm feeling. But we're gonna walk around the park and explore. I am hungry, but I have a feeling I'm not gonna be able to afford anything here. So, we'll figure it out. Thank <laughs> you. 
The Monte Carlo Casino, where many James Bond movies were filmed, is quite an iconic building. It's very popular. And then behind me here, we have Hotel du Paris, the Hotel of Paris. Which is... There are some nice cars coming out of that. <laughs> There are some big, big boats down there, and I'd also like to point out, literally, there is a home up there. There are homes above. It's green, but there is multiple homes at the top. I don't know how they get up there. Here you have a good shot, Grand Prix, and then it goes all the way down there, and that sign at the very bottom says, Monaco Grand Prix History. 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 Get these freshly paved loads. I read a vlog that was from three years ago about Monaco and that a ticket at the Starbucks at the hairpin turn costed 450 euros a discounted. I don't even want to know what an ultra luxe hotel room or actual seat to watch either the E Grand Prix or the real one would cost. have any friends on here that have watched the series Below Deck. There is definitely some full charter boats here. Like I'm walking past the small ones. We're talking big daddies. I just finished having lunch, which in total costed 21 euros. The salad was so-so, but at least had nice, fresh vegetables, except one tomato was kind of funky. Anyway, but the little bottle of San Pellegrino I had, which wasn't even a one liter, <laughs> costed five euros. I've been buying one liter lemon San Pellegrino at the grocery store for 120 euros. This is five. $7 for a mini bottle of water. I knew it was gonna cost a lot, but it's okay. Drink it all to stay hydrated. But we're just walking down the harbor and there's some pretty nice boats. We had a quick outfit change because I was oddly feeling chilly. Where I was sitting for lunch was in the shade, which made me start to shiver so I got my sweater back on so 21 22 degrees but down by the water it definitely has this breeze and feels chilly and we're currently walking up stairs a mini hike up to the prince's palace so the prince of monaco from my understanding still governments and rules the country and he's a very intelligent man in the way he's done things because something i didn't mention about the country is it's a tax haven, so it's tax free, and hence why a lot of wealthy people like to come here because they don't have to pay taxes. So they can spend a lot, make a lot, exchange money, hopefully not dirty money. And last thing, I stole the bread from lunch. <laughs> There's three buns given to me at the table in a bag. It was meant to be. I don't want to eat it then, but I know I'll want to eat it soon. Oh, here it is. A little casual garden and tower and soldier or two. 
Ooh, he's doing his fancy dance. Far throwback right now. Any friends did R.E.D. ballet and remember Holly Betts? That is what's coming here. It looks like it's 18 steps with a heel click, turn, heel click, and begin again. What a job to walk 18 steps back and forth all day. Going through some really nice streets. Everyone's having gelato, a coffee. I'm just munching on some bread. There is definitely a lot of apartments and people do live up here. The way I entered is for sure the tourist way to enter the palace, but as we're exiting here, we see a bus stop. and there's humans and residents besides the prince. The fact about Monaco is they don't have their own airport, which you would think a country should have a airport, but they actually rely on the airport that's in Nice, which is a quick train ride away, but there is a helipad and we just saw a huge helicopter landing because I think there's some pretty nice helicopters coming in. All right, my friends, here is where we end our video. Thank you so much for watching and exploring Monaco with me. It is a small country and there's lots to see. It's compact, it's staggered, it's built on a hill. There is wealth, there is beauty, and it's busy. It's touristy and this is the beginning of May, so I can only imagine what summertime is like, but I really enjoyed my stay here. And I really highly suggest either staying here or traveling from Nice to Monaco is so easy. I've got my Nice video up here. Thank you for joining me. Please subscribe. Did you do it? Did you subscribe? Or like the video, either one or both. Thank you so much. I hope you have an awesome day and we'll see you in the next one. I just put the camera down and I just go where the heck am I and this is definitely one of those moments welcome to Monaco we have been exploring this city since about 10 11 12 whenever we got here